Have you ever had the issue of an injury when you've been hill walking which has kept you off the hills for a few weeks or giving you jip? Like sore knees, going downhill, sore backs, other <laughs> things like that. Well, that's what I've been experiencing. And today's adventure is the first adventure I've had for quite a few weeks because I've just not been able to get out into the hills and enjoy it. It's been uh, a bit frustrating, so I'm going to go through a few things, such as what I've been doing to try and, you know, fix the injuries I've been, I've been um, sort of harbouring or carrying a few wee niggling injuries for probably a couple of years now. One of I think I've resolved completely, which I'll go into later on. But for the time being, I need to. I'm still in my my uh, home lounging gear, my joggers, and my <laughs> the top. So I need to uh, I need to get into my hill walking gear. I'll maybe talk a bit about that as well, some of the gear that I've been buying uh, recently, especially <laughs> I've not been able to get out, but we'll go into the wee while, get onto that in a wee while. Now I need to get out and um, yeah, just get set up and, and ready to go and see if I can make it up this hill. This is a test hill for me, um, first time I've been out in a few weeks as I said, so let's see how we go. Let's get changed and out into the snow. Right. So as mentioned, I'd picked up this knee injury a few weeks before and I hadn't been up in the hills for quite a few weeks, which is relatively unusual for me. So I'd picked, yeah, a, 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 a hill that isn't too demanding to test my knee out and to see if I could get to the top without any knee pain. And after getting my gear on and closing up the van, I set my way up a snowy hillside and I'd chosen a route up the hill that wasn't too steep. Uh, just in case my knee got sore again and I headed up there to see how it was going to react to being back out on the hillside. I'm going to have a wee rest here I think, stop. Nice wee rock to sit my bum down on, so get some lunch here I think and assess, assess the situation. Oh. Oh, a nice wee spot here. Well, the injuries that I've had that have been plaguing me for a wee while is my knee. And it's sore. It is sore going up here. I don't know if I'm going to make the top, to be honest with you. For a sore elbow for a few years, a <laughs> sore back. But let's talk about my knee first. That's it. This is what's been keeping me off the hills. And I think it's going to keep me off the hills, judging by how it's feeling at the moment, for a wee bit longer. I'm a bit, uh, a bit disappointed, really. But anyway, um, a few, well, last month, I, you would have seen the video when I was up, up um, Skunakish. No, Skunakish. God, Kisti Do. <laughs> Almost the same thing. Yep, Kisti Do and Glen Shield. And the same sort of pain as I'm getting now, I was getting going up. And uh, it was pretty sore. Uh, I, I mentioned it in the video, but I didn't mention how bad it was. But uh, once I got to the top, uh, the real pain came when I was going downhill. It was, it was... Yeah, it gave me yeah, a niggle, a niggle on the way up, shall we say. But as soon as I started going downhill, and when you're going downhill, you're placing a lot more weight in your knees. It was it was quite sore, and I couldn't straighten my leg. Uh, sorry, I couldn't bend my leg. It was, it was sore every time I did that, so I hobbled off the hill. Um, it's not something new to me. I've had it I've had it in the past. I, I got it a lot when I was climbing more regularly, actually. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. It's, it's probably something to do with the cartilage. I've had OCD. I think I've talked about this before, um, diagnosed with osteochondritis desiccans, which is where well, there's no cartilage left on the, I think it's the femoral condyle of my right knee. So I'm almost certain that's that's what's causing the pain. So yeah, so what have I been, have I been doing? I've been resting it. I've rested it for about three weeks now. I have been, um, after the initial week where I rested it, I've been taking it easy and exercise, going out with the dog and testing it and it's been okay, but this has been a bit longer and it's, it's a bit sorer. Uh, I've been doing stretching. I'll come on to the stretching later on from my back. Uh, and I've also started taking some new supplements. <laughs> I thought, God, I'll try anything. So I always, already take cod liver oil and things like that, but I started taking the uh, glucosamine and chondroitin just to see it. There's, there's varying reports whether it's going to be useful or not. I thought, you know what, sod it. I'll start taking that, but I've not been taking it long enough to, to see if it's got an effect. So anyway... Enough about my knee, I'll, I'll go on a bit further, I'm going to try and get up to the uh, the BLA. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to manage the top with my knee. I'm going to rest here, have a bite to eat, and I'll report back later on.
Ah, sun's coming out, right. Gonna have a wee play with the snowshoes. Fantastic. Oh, right. Back on with the big pack. Yeah, it's not big. It's the day pack. It's up to the BLR, I can see what's happening. Oh, that's bright. Should have put my goggles on. Anyway, let's go this way. After resting at the rock and getting a bite to eat, you can see I got the snowshoes on. And I knew by this point I probably wasn't going to make the, the summit. My knee was quite sore. But the, the snowshoes seemed to help. It was still... It was still niggling, but it wasn't as sore as when I was walking up without the snowshoes on. So I went up the short distance and headed towards the beer lack to, to just to see how it was, but yeah, things weren't looking great. And especially on the, the slopes, which were slightly steeper, my knee was protesting more than it should have been. So I headed up to the beer lack to assess the situation. Oh, look at this. That's stunning. Oh, there's a wee rock here. I'll sit my bum down here, I think. But yeah, fantastic. The snowshoes are actually helping me knee a wee bit. I'm still not going to go to the top. The top is literally about a 15 minute walk up there. Still about another 100, 120 metres of ascent from this beer lack. But the view behind me, look at this. The clouds starting to clear. The sun that's in Scotland at this time of the year in the winter. The, the beauty of the light is the sun doesn't get too high in the sky. So you get that low light. And in these conditions where the mist is starting to clear, and it's sort of backlighting some of the fog in, in the valley, in the glen, it's just magical. So, yeah, I'm going to take some pictures here, then I'll report back and tell you about my other injuries, which I've uh, managed to hopefully get over. Right, let's take some pickies. Wow, stunning. Stay with the wee camera, I think. This is just amazing, look at that. I don't know if you can make out the light behind me, so... I'm at the Bialak, as I said, I've taken some pictures. It's lovely and no wind, but my knee... It is quite sore. It's not super sore, I think it's slightly better than what it was. But I'm not going to risk going up any further, I'm going to head down from the Bialak. Uh, as I said, just a, while, a wee minute ago, it's not far to the summit, but... Um, yeah, I'm not going to... I'm not going to put any more strain on my knee that I don't need to, so... I've got up here, I've got some amazing views and I'm going to head back down but the other injuries aside from the blooming knee um, is my back, for the last two years I've been getting shooting pains through my back when I've been stepping, uh, sitting up for many sort of seats <laughs> God, I'm falling to bits, aren't I? and it's a, it sounds like an old man problem and I think it is, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not young but um, I might have talked about this before but the real revelation was after I'd spent the seven days on Sky I had no back pain, apart from wee twinges on the first day. So I kind of did a bit of thinking about it, and I thought, what have I, what have, what have I been doing differently? And what I wasn't doing on the seven days in Sky, the Sky Trail trek, was I wasn't sitting down. So I, I, I assessed all the places that I spend a lot of time sitting. My desk chair, I do a lot of driving in my day job, and also just my, my, my recliner at home when I'm watching the telly. And I, I've adapted all of those and put back supports in, and everything, including the car. I think the car was the main one. And I've had no back pain since Sky uh, after doing that. So uh, just, I thought I had a slip disc or a hernia somewhere. And I think it was just muscular. And I think it was the way that my seats were positioned and putting undue stress on my back. It might not be that, but it's very coincidental that that pain's gone now. Another thing which has been really quite sore over the last eh, same same amount of time has been my elbow. It's not too bad. I think they call it tennis elbow. Whenever I'm like lifting a heavy rucksack or anything lifting uh, that sort of motion, it just it just feels weak. My hand feels weak. I don't seem to have much power in my in my in my arm. It's it's hard to explain. But um, I've kind of rested that for a wee while, and I'm, I'm maybe see these new new supplements might help it. But I'll report back in a few months about everything, providing I can get back out in the hill. But that's that's been my injuries, <laughs> and I'll come on to this just. At the next piece of camera, but you can see my new trousers that I've got on. Something that always seems to happen with me when um, 
when I get when I'm off the hill for any period of time, whether it be COVID or injuries, is I spend a lot of money on gear. So I'll go through some of the gear, including these trousers that I've bought. I'm also going to have to buy new snowshoes because one of the bindings on these these uh, Chinooks, I think they were called, has come off. It's still working, but uh, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to have to buy new snowshoes. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy this for a bit longer. I'm going to head down back towards the car, so I'll report back in a wee while. So the decision was made, uh, although it wasn't far to the summit of the Munro, my knee was sore enough for me not to not to risk going any further and I turned around at this point and started to head back down the hill, back towards the van. Well, this is lovely. Actually, not too bad on my knee. Going down the way with these snowshoes on, it's helping it. Well, it's not helping it, but it's... Not as sore as it would have been without them. Anyway, that there, I don't know if you'll make it out in the camera, that's the summit just there. So it's, it's not too far to go to, but I've been up at probably one of my most frequented Munro's <laughs> over the years. So I know what to expect up there. Had my knee been fine, there's no doubt about it, I would have got up there and I would have lingered a bit longer. But I'm going to enjoy as much as I can this descent. Hopefully it doesn't hurt my knee too much. But nice, soft, deep snow here, perfect for the snowshoes providing that they, uh, they don't fall apart <laughs> before I get down any further. So let's crack on and I'll report back about my gear at the van. <laughs> don't know if you can make it that sound. Woomph, woomph, woomph. What a joyous sound. There's nothing more satisfying <laughs> than walking down a nice gradient with these snowshoes on in soft, deep snow. It's just a lovely, lovely sound. Let's see if we can get it again. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> right, sun's coming out again. So I'll report back later on. Let's go to enjoy this. It's not too bad in my knee actually, which is, uh, it's good. <laughs> Let's go, this is where I'm going. Hey down there. As I descended down the, the track, the snow levels, got shallower and shallower, there was less snow further down, so it was time to take the snowshoes off, uh, which I did. I stopped and, and took them off, and I kind of wish I'd kept them on, because as soon as as soon as soon I started walking again, um, there was a bit of pain when I had the snowshoes on the further I went down the hill, but as soon as I took them off and started walking down, I could feel the pain in my knee. Although it doesn't look too bad from this footage, I could, I could certainly feel every step with my right foot with a wee, uh, wee bit of pain in my right knee, so a bit, uh, I was really, well, I wasn't a bit disappointed, I was really disappointed, so it looks like I'll have to rest it for a bit longer, and I might end up spending more money on gear, which is something I seem to do when I'm not on the hills, but anyway, I was back at the van, and it was time to talk about my new trousers. Right. Oh, well, my knee is quite sore. <laughs> ah coming down there, and this wasn't even as big a walk, this was quite an easy walk for uh, testing my knee out. Anyway, back in the van, I'll do a very quick review of these trousers. These are, I think I must be the last person that hasn't purchased a pair of this, <laughs> this brand. It's Revolution Race. Um, I've not been sponsored, these cost me £71. The, uh, they have been in touch with me, asking me to, to do some videos and stuff like that, but I don't really, well, you've never seen a sponsored video yet, so maybe in the future, but uh, it allows me to give an honest opinion. They're, they're pretty good. The first thing that uh, drew me to them was the colour. I love the uh, the colours they do. They do bright. Uh, so this is rustic orange. They do blues and stuff like that. First impressions, really good. Um, quite a thick material. Lovely pockets. Enjoy the pockets here for phones. There's pockets up here. You've got the uh, Velcro tightening straps to your waistband. I would recommend having a belt though. I, I got extra large. And uh, yeah, they were they were okay. The um, I could do with a belt though. One of the, th the things I don't like about them is they don't have braces. I could fit braces out, but I'm an old man. I like my braces because it, 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 this isn't just with these trousers, it's with all trousers. It, they tend to drop a wee bit and you get a wee gap and a cold spot <laughs> in your back when you've got the rucksack on. That doesn't happen with trousers with braces like my Jotner ones. I really, I really like the, um, the, the narrow bottom of them and the, they've got a really nice 
the zip here which allows you to wind them and there's clips to, to tighten the, the bottom of the trousers around your boots to, irrespective of the, the width which I think is a really really nice feature so I was really impressed with that had gaiters over them today but yeah really nice and the zips work, work both ways there's ventilation zips on the inside too cold to, to say if they work or not yeah I really like them quite thick quite hard wearing Things I don't like about them is, well, probably the thickness again. Um, it's nothing to do with the trouser. It's just the, I like thinner material. I find it a bit more uh, comfy and stretchy. I like my yellow pants. And I've got um, leggings on underneath this today because it's winter. I would have done the same with my, my other trousers uh, that I wear. But yeah, the, the thicker material makes them less stretchy. So they might be more hard wearing, but just a little bit less, uh, less comfortable. In fact, they don't have braces. So yeah, there's my in-depth <laughs> review of the Revolution Race trousers. Um, I have bought more gear, I'm going to have to buy more gear again. And uh, the other thing which I'll talk about in a wee while is the the best bit of gear that I've got, that I've bought this year. And that's, you would have seen them in the uh, Sky Trail video, it's Step 1 Underpants. Get some, they're so comfy. Best bits of gear that I've uh, had in a long time. So anyway, I'm going to shop now, I'm going to get some painkillers, Get the van sorted out and head back down the road. Oh, have you watched this far? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next adventure. Right, let's get down the road.